Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 47th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on classes and objects and uh, I'm going to just show you some tweaks you know with the last program that we made in the last tutorial and uh, you know this is what the program looks like and if you haven't seen the last tutorial then I would suggest you guys to watch it because you won't be able to understand much of what we're going to do in this tutorial if you haven't you know checked out the last tutorial right so the first thing that we're going to see is you know how we can remove uh, this name parameter from the argument list for our constructor function so it's not necessary that whenever you create a constructor function you have to receive uh, an argument uh, you know um, through the uh, object creation statement you know that's not necessary so you know I'll get rid of this uh, you know and what I'll do is since I'm still interested in uh, knowing the name of my user I'm going to use a print statement here inside the constructor function and I'm going to ask the user to tell uh, you know me his or her name so I'll have a message like what's your name and uh, then I'm going to use the input function to store the input in the variable my class dot name right and uh, this is very simple and uh, you know what I'll have to do is I'll obviously have to make changes to my you know object creation statement because now we, we're no longer going to pass values to the constructor function right so I'll get rid of all these object statements and another thing that we're going to check out is that you know if suppose you want to create five objects in your uh, script file then it's not important for you to have the object creation statements written five times you know you could have a loop and if you know that you're going to create the statements the, create the objects sorry in the same way in more or less the same way then you can have a, a loop right and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable called var I'll give it the value zero and this is supposed to be uh, the control variable that I'm going to use with my while loop right on the next line I'm going to define an empty list I'll call this my list and uh, you know I'll use empty square brackets to create this list and then on the next line I'll type in the keyword while and uh, I'll loop for var less than 4 right so var initially has the value 0 and if var uh, runs to less than 4 then you know it means that it's going to run four times the loop is going to have four iterations right and uh, the iterations are going to be for var equals zero var equals one var equals two and var equals three and it cannot be four as soon as it will get four the loop will terminate right and uh, then i'll put in a colon here i'll get inside the body of the while loop and what i'll do is i'll type in my list and i'll use the append function of list and uh, as an argument to this i'll pass in the class name and uh, you know with a set of parentheses so what I'm doing is at each position in the list you know if suppose the loop is going to the loop of course is going to run four times so the list is currently empty it doesn't have any um, you know element in it but if, if I'm using the append function in each iteration then for four iterations we are going to append four different values to the list and an object is nothing but some space in the memory for the class right so it can also be as a element in a list you know it doesn't necessarily have to be you know uh, an exclusive variable in its own it can also be a part of a list variable at each index position you could have you know an object variable for a class so you know I have uh, used the append function here and as an argument I have passed in the name of the class with the empty parentheses and of course I'm not passing anything within the, within these parentheses because the constructor function no longer needs to take in an argument now right and uh, this is it and then obviously I'll have to make calls to the uh, functions check color and uh, display result and uh, since the first object is going to be available at the index position 0 of the variable my list I'll have to type in my list and uh, then within square brackets I'll have to type in 0 or sorry I'll have to type in var because var contains the value so for in the second iteration uh, var is going to have value 1 and uh, the object at the index position 1 is going to be used right so var is going to take care of this uh, for me I'll put in a dot and this is what we do to you know call a function uh, when we know where the object is I'll type in check underscore color the name of the function the first function and then I'll type in my list dot sorry my list and within square brackets again I'll type in var and then I'll put in a dot and then uh, display underscore result and uh, another set of empty parentheses and the last thing that I have to do in this program is I'll have to update the control variable by typing in var equals var plus one right I'll save this file and uh, when I execute the program 
I see the message what's your name, right? So the constructor function has been called, so that means that the first iteration of the while loop is currently going on, right? So I'll type in uh, Roger here, and uh, what's the color of your car? Well, let's say Roger has a black car, right? So hello, Roger, total number of black cars is one, sample size is one. Then again, the second iteration's uh, working now, so we are again seeing the message, what's your name? So the constructor function has been called the second time now. So let's say uh, the name of the second guy is Rafa, and uh, let's say Rafa has a green car. So hello, Rafa, total number of black cars, one, other cars, one, sample size is two. Let's say the next guy is Andy, right? So the color of Andy's car, let's say, is red and uh, hello Andy, total number of black cards is one, and uh, other cards, the, the count is two, and the sample size is three, and let's say finally we have uh, Novak as the guy who we approached, and uh, let's say Novak has a white car, so hello Novak, total number of black cards is one, total number of white cars is uh, zero. And uh, the reason why this is zero is that I've actually made an error in my program and I'll tell you what that error is. In my list, I have the word wide with the uh, all small case letters. And as an input, I have uh, you know supplied wide with the uh, you know W as a capital letter. And the reason why we didn't get this uh, problem with the black for Roger is because when I uh, you know provided the value black, I use small b as uh, my first character of the input, whereas uh, in the case of white, I use w. So, you know, you can uh, make changes to your program to sort of accommodate for this problem. You know, you could have uh, uh, more values in your list and you could have these small case values and uppercase values, or, you know, you could change the input received to, you know, uh, lower uh, case letters or lower case letters and then make the comparison. And you, could, you can do all those things because, you know, we've already checked out string functions and I'm sure that you guys are familiar with those techniques now. So, Anyway, my objective in this tutorial was not to, you know, show you guys the output, but I just wanted to, you know, uh, tell you some techniques that you can use to, you know, use, like, for instance, using loops to, you know, create uh, class objects and, you know, having class objects as individual elements of a list. And, uh, you know, also that the constructor function doesn't necessarily have to take in uh, an argument, right? You can just have self as an argument and, you know, it'll work. And uh, the next thing that we're going to check out in this tutorial is, I mean, at first I thought that I'd have another tutorial on classes and I'll discuss, you know, the next bit that I want to show you guys in the next tutorial. But then I thought that, you know, let's just wrap up our discussion on classes in this tutorial itself, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm uh, again going to change my constructor function and uh, I'll, uh, you know, get rid of this uh, print statement and, uh, you know, I'll change it to the way it was initially, right? So uh, I've passed a name as a second argument, so I'll have to get rid of the print statement as I said. And uh, so what this means now is that the constructor function is again going to take name as an argument. So, you know, with this code, you know, suppose we want to use the loop and we also want to pass in the, you know, constructor function, uh, an argument, you know, the name as an argument. And, you know, you would want to do something like this when you want to create multiple objects using a loop but you do not want to supply the name every time, right? So to take care of that, what I'm going to do is after creating this variable called var here, I'm going to create a variable called names, right? And uh, it's going to be a list variable and I'll put in four names in this list variable, right? So Roger is one and then let's say we want Rafa as a second one and then let's say we want Andy as the third guy and let's say we want to have uh, you know, um, Novak as the fourth guy, right? And uh, then, since I want these values to be passed to the constructor function in each iteration, what I'll have to do here is that I'll have to type in the name of the list variable that contains these values, and then within square brackets, I'll again type in var, right? So the way this is going to work is an object is going to be created at the zeroth position of the list variable my list in the first iteration and it's going to pass in the value Roger, which is again at the zeroth position of the list variable names to the constructor function of the class, my class, right? So this is a little complicated and, you know, I would suggest you guys to pause the video here and, you know, just take a minute to understand this. You know, if you've understood it, then that's just brilliant. I'll save this file now and uh, when I execute it, you know, I just see that I get the message, what's the color of your car? I don't see what's your name. So now I don't have to type in names. I can just type in colors and I'm gonna make sure that I type in all small case letters this time. So black 
and let's say uh, wide and let's say wide again and let's say blue right so let me scroll up to show you guys the output so for the first iteration we see the message hello roger total number of black cars is one sample size is one second case hello rafa total number of black cars is one and white cars is one because we supplied white as the input sample size is two total number of uh, black cars is one white cars is two for andy and then finally for uh, Novak, we supplied blue as the input so others has to be updated and the sample size has been changed to four right so this is it this is all i had to discuss with you guys about classes and objects and i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial in the last one too and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have any doubts you can email me you can put in comments you can you know uh, contact me on facebook you can do whatever you know suits you best and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video in which again we'll discuss something interesting about Python and uh, thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you in the next video. Till then.